In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add two post carousels to your Elementor page and sync them together. Over here, we have two post carousels with the same post query and they're synced together. I'm also going to show you how to add remote control arrows like you see over here so you can achieve any design that you want and place them wherever you want on your design. And let's get started. While I was browsing this morning on Facebook, I found a question in the Elementor community that's asking how can I achieve this kind of layout that we see over here, which is sort of a post carousel with images. And one image is highlighted more than the others. And the image that's highlighted, we can see its title, its metadata, and a link to go inside of there. Down here, we have na navigation bullets that will help us navigate the carousel over here. So I thought this was a great challenge for Unlimited Elements because that's exactly what Unlimited Elements is for, to close the design gap for these kind of design challenges. Let's jump into Elementor and I'll show you how I would achieve this kind of design. I'm gonna open a new section. I'm going to split my section like this over here where we have one small column and one bigger column. And I'm going to make the section full height just so everything is centered over here to make the video look nice. Let's go into the widgets pane and I'm going to search for an unlimited elements widget. So you're going to need unlimited elements pro version installed and activated on your WordPress website. Let's drag inside the post carousel and what you can see is that it's actually a carousel of posts. It's driven by posts. And I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this to try to achieve the layout that we've seen on Facebook. So first of all, it's act the design that we've seen is actually made of two carousels. We're going to do the first carousel which is only images at the beginning so first of all i'm going to click on the carousel over here number of items is set to three so we could set that to something different if we wanted to and margin between items in the example there was no margin so i'm going to change that to zero the time and the transition speed look good to me i'm not going to change those and let's jump into layout. Over here, inside of layout, I'm going to leave only the image on the right side. So I'm just going to turn off the content, which turns off all the bottom part with all the content. I don't need navigation arrows and I do not need navigation dots because those are going to be on the left side over here. So I'm going to turn off the dots and turn off the arrows. Awesome, so we got uh, some posts over here. Now, right now it's showing the latest posts, but that's not always the situation. So first of all, I'm going into post query and I'm going to select my posts by terms. That means by category, for example. So I have a category that's called cocktails. I'm going to load those in. And now we can see that we have some cocktails over here. These are looking good. You can also set the maximum number of posts. If you want to show only six of these, for example, you could do that as well. But this is looking good. Next part, I'm going to make my section full width. So let's go over here to content width, and I'm going to change that, that's in the section, to full width. And what I think I'll do is I'll close the gap over here. So it will be close on the right side. So let's click on the column over here in advanced and close the gap. This is looking good. We just need to refresh the widget. So to do that, I'm just going to turn off autoplay and let's leave the autoplay off for now. So let's go into style and inside of image, I'll just push up the height of the image just so that looks like more of a square proportion. So this is looking good. 
And I think we're about set with this carousel. What I think I'll do is go into content and I'll make a preparation to connect it to the next carousel. So what I'll do is enable remote connection and enable sync. Those are under connected widget settings inside of the post carousel. Now, let's duplicate this carousel or actually let's add a different carousel. So let's add a new carousel, post carousel. And inside of number of items, now you can see it's showing three items. I'm just going to change that to one because we want to show each time only one carousel. Next part, what I'll do is show the same posts because over here we're showing cocktails and these are the latest posts. So I'm just going to go into post query and do the exact same thing. So it's really important when you're trying to sync two carousels together that you have the exact same post query because we want to show the same post. So now we have the same posts on each side. And now we want to sync these two together. So again, I'm going into this carousel, into connected widgets and enable remote and enable sync. So at this stage, these two are now synced together. How cool is that? Awesome. Next part on the left side over here, I do not want to show an image. So I'm going into layout and I'm going to turn off my image and on the way i'm also going to turn off my arrows we don't need those we need only the bullets over here so right now this is looking pretty good we're showing cosmopolitan and that's the exact post over here let's start styling this a little bit so i'm going inside over here style and the first thing i'm going to align the content to the left which looks awesome Next part, I'm going into the title and I'll change the title to one of my predefined global fonts just so that looks a little bit bigger, giving me a little bit more contrast over here. And next part, I think I'm going to take off the background color that is inside of slide. Over here, I'm going to clear the background color so that just lays out on my layout. And on this side, I think I'm going to push up the padding over here. So let's push up the padding to 50. Looking good. Let's go into style. And oh, I'm inside of the column. So I'm going to click back into the carousel over here. And inside of metadata, let's push that down to 12 pixels. So it's a bit smaller. You can space everything that you want to, if you want a little bit more spacing. And the next part, I'm going to align the dots to the left. So let's go into nav dots, align to start. And we can actually push up the gap over here between these. So going to gap, let's push up the gap. Looking good. And I think inside of the content, I'll just take off the padding. So that aligns nicely to the left over here. Everything is looking awesome. And I think I'm about set. I mean, I'm not sure that I need to do anything else. The last part is we want only the first image to have a full opacity and the other images to push down the opacity. So I'm going to click on this carousel this time. And inside of style, over here, I'm just going to push down the opacity. So right now, you can see that only the selected one on the left side is highlighted on the right side. How cool is that? Awesome. So we have everything set up, I think. And a little addition that I'm going to add is called, uh, I'm going to add two remote control widgets. So the first widget that I'm going to add is remote arrows. So let's go over here to remote arrows. And again, this is not included in Elementor. You're going to need a plugin that's called Unlimited Elements, and you're going to need the pro version. So let's drag these inside. These I'm going to put on top of my 
carousel over here. And I'm going to drag them to the end, just so they're at the end. And now you can see that these arrows are controlling our carousel over here, which looks pretty awesome. All I need to do is add some padding over here. So I'm going to add the padding. Let's go for 20 pixels. And I think that in this column, I'm going to add a counter. So we have also a widget that's called remote counter. And let's drag that inside and it should connect automatically. Now you can see it's showing nine out of 10, which is awesome. That shows us how many posts we have over here and which post we're on. I'm going to, let's justify this to the start and let's style this a little bit. I like it always when the, uh, the current number over here is bigger. So I'm going to change that over here to let's say something big. We can also use a predefined style. For example, this one, let's push up the gap between these in the content settings, looking good. And let's add a spacer between them so they're not so close together. So spacer widget, just throw that in. Of course, you can do this with padding as well. You can see that how that pushes that down. Maybe that's a little bit too much. And just to make sure I'm going into the column settings and in vertical align, I'll go to bottom just so everything snaps to the bottom. That didn't change too much, but that's looking pretty good. So we got everything set up. I'm going into the post carousel over here on the left and I'm going to turn off autoplay just so that's not so annoying. And if a user wants, he can use to navigate. So I'm gonna go update and let's preview this on the live page. Look how awesome that is. I mean, navigation arrows, navigation dots, a counter, two carousels that are synced together, and we have everything set up. I think just to finish up this design, I'm going to space the dots a little bit. I mean, they're too close to the button. So let's go into this carousel, go into style, go into dots, and add some spacing. Let's go for, oh, this is looking much better. Awesome. Now again, there were a lot of settings and we did a lot of stuff here. We used sync, we used remote controls, we showed how to use post query, which we have a lot of advanced settings. Everything is documented and shown on our website. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, of course, and I'm going to see you in the next video.